I think we can all agree that being stealthy is very fun. Whether you're sneaking into the kitchen at midnight to grab some cookies without anyone noticing, or infiltrating a cabal firebase, there's a sick satisfaction in getting the job done without anyone noticing until it's too late. Although there aren't many stealth mechanics in Destiny 2, the Vice Foundry has created a series of weapons that were clearly designed with stealth in mind. Today, we're gonna head into the shadows and look at some of my favorite weapons from this covert foundry. Let's get started. If you want to be a covert operative, you need deadly skills and a stealthy arsenal to help you in and out of tough situations without being detected. If you're trying to acquire an arsenal like that in the Destiny universe, your options are non-existent. But even though you can't properly silence your weapons, you can kill your enemies and silence them instead. Sidearms aren't the most powerful weapons for Guardians because of their limited range and unimpressive size. But if you don't feel the need to compensate for something, Viced sidearms make phenomenal secondary weapons. The Rattler is the best sidearm in the Viced Foundry. It comes standard with kill clip, accurized rounds, and sights for handling and stability. It's also a lightweight frame, so you have increased movement speed with it equipped. This pint-sized pistol might not look like much, but it'll kill anyone who has the nerve to laugh at its small stature. Even better still, if you're within the effective range of the gun, your enemies will get shredded, especially once you get kill clip rolling. It's a great weapon, but it comes with a lot of downsides, just like every sidearm. Its limited range, reserves, and magazine capacity means you'll need to support this gun with an amazing kinetic weapon, and unfortunately, you can't look to Vice for that because they don't make kinetic weapons. Thankfully, as a member of the Vanguard, you've got access to guns like the Nameless Midnight that will help you deal with mid to long range targets. The Rattler is a hyper specialized weapon, but it has a lot of potential to get you out of tough spots. Let the big guns fight most of your battles for you, then when shit inevitably hits the fan, whip out this little guy and show your enemies why size doesn't always matter. But sometimes you've got to put down your little pocket pistol for something a bit less modest. Next up is the flagship weapon for the Vice Foundry, a well-rounded rapid-fire auto rifle that's managed to seamlessly blend above-average stats with fancy tech that compensates for the weapon's weaknesses. The Valakadon and all its variants are without a doubt some of the best auto rifles you can find in the galaxy. Though none of the weapons in the Valakadon family come with extravagant perks like Dragonfly, Rampage, or even something more conservative like High Impact Reserves, their practical approach to things has led to their weapons feeling and performing better than most. Coming standard with a hammer-forged rifling barrel for increased range, accurized rounds for even more range, and cool under pressure as a trait, this weapon has completely negated the limited range and stability issues of the rapid-fire archetype without compromising on other statistics. This combination of perks has left the Valakaden and its brother, the Perseverance, with base stats that mirror adaptive auto rifles from Suros, but offer better damage output. Additionally, the Rapid Fire Archetype's intrinsic perk gives you a faster reload on an empty magazine, and since these guns fire at 720 rounds per minute, the speedy reload is a welcomed addition. Overall, this gun is fantastic, and I'm surprised to see something like this come from a foundry that prioritizes stealth over raw stats. However, as powerful as the Valakadon and all its variants are, I was expecting something a bit more unique to come from this covert foundry. Honestly, I thought Vice was going to provide me with fancy gadgets that I couldn't find anywhere else, but instead all I got was a handful of good guns. And don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining, but I wanted something like a pen that doubles as a laser, a bulletproof umbrella that launches poison darts, or maybe a grenade launcher that shoots mechanical spiders. I was pleasantly surprised when I found out that last thing exists. The Colony is the Vice Foundry's first exotic weapon, and it's something the universe has never seen before. This grenade launcher has swapped out traditional explosives for void-infused insectoid robot grenades that chase down enemies and detonate when they're close enough to the target or after a set duration. If that didn't already sound crazy, these little bug bots automatically reload themselves from your reserves because of the Serve the Colony exotic perk. Couple that with a high base reserve capacity that can be expanded via the weapon's exotic catalyst, and you've got an army of spiders that can help you out whenever you're in a pinch. Even though drum-fed grenade launchers aren't the strongest power weapons available, 
The efficiency, consistency, and ease of use provided by the colony makes up for the shortcomings of this weapon class. And even if they didn't, it's a grenade launcher that shoots explosive robot spiders, so I'd be using it regardless. The colony is the real deal. It's the golden standard for creativity and technological marvel that most other exotics and foundries can't dream of competing with. It puts traditional guns like the Zeros regime to shame. Then when we start talking about tech, the knuckleheads at Hake are left banging their hammers and scratching their heads, wondering why their grenades can't grow legs and crawl around. So yeah, I thought Vice was gonna provide me with fancy gadgets that I couldn't find anywhere else. And they did. And there we go, that's gonna do it for this week's Foundry favorites. The Vice Foundry has some really incredible guns. They look great, they sound great, and most of them perform really well. So it was an absolute blast making this video because I got to blast enemies with really powerful guns. With all of that said, we're gonna wrap it up by saying the name of the game is Destiny 2, the name of the channel is JGR. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let me know how you feel about the colony. Is it your go-to exotic, a guilty pleasure, or are you terrified of the idea of your mechanical spiders turning on you and blowing you up? Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.